Oh boy, welcome back to part 39 in what is possibly Phoenix's biggest case whatsoever. What started as a simple poisoning in a cafe restaurant has now escalated into his doppelganger now potentially threatening the world with a computer virus that could threaten everything on a global scale. Holy cow, this really again, is Sonic Adventure so 2. Only again, this would, again, this wouldn't be a problem if that fucking moron knew how to run a fucking restaurant, but that that's beside the point. Hey, what Good about morning, the... Maggie. What about the judge actually recognizing that that imposter was in Phoenix? Uh? Oh, Dan! Seriously, the tables were not even set up properly. Mm. <laughs> Yesterday's search didn't go so well, and then ended on a giant mystery. That's true. Takumi-san, do some research next time. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe that's the point. He shows the actual incompetence of the. Or... I guess. I guess. If, sure. if, if anything, that was him doing his research. Let's not forget, he made these games as a critique of the Japanese law system. True, but do we need to critique the Japanese restaurant uh, industry as well? I'm guessing it's reflecting the fact that uh, you know a foreign uh, restaurant in that in that country is just badly angled in all appearance to attract clients instead of <laughs> having actual like... substance. Ah, yes, yeah, determination. Yeah, yeah. Uh, most likely, it's like Tiro said, it's it's badly done on purpose. Let's move on. As soon as said, that wasn't doubt, that was determination. Anyway, yeah. As for the restaurant, Why don't I believe you? Uh, because Undertale doesn't exist yet, that's why. It's nearly time, my it's okay, Maggie. Here's what you do. Look, uh, take a good look at uh, Phoenix's hair because uh, you can read his thoughts by uh, thanks to those. Um, it's like an signals. antenna. Don't encourage <laughs> her. Oh, it's me. Hey, Paul. Oh, oh hey, hey, Detective Gumshoe. Good to see you survived your fight with the tiger. <laughs> Quit stressing, Maggie Owl. She doesn't need that. Oh, how did you know she was stressed? My Gumshoe sense was tingling. I was watching you through the doorway. Oh, that's um, out. That's not creepy uh, at all. That's not creepy at all. Uh, <laughs> you look like you lost the case already. Show a bit of confidence, will you, pal? Please. Here, maybe this will help. Nail varnish. Huh? Have you taken up the aromatherapy too? Oh, God. No, please. Not in a million years, pal. Don't tell me you don't remember this thing. Mm. Well, it has been a while since you recorded the last part of this playthrough. Ah, come to think of it. That doesn't look like one of those aromatherapy bottles. This is the small bottle that turned up in the Trebian kitchen a couple of days ago. Oh, right! I remember that like it was a flashback. Whoosh. Oh, look at all these little bottles. When Maya was a waitress. <laughs> oh, they're aromatherapy oils. He's got so many, they're overflowing onto the floor of the Jesus. kitchen. <laughs> breathe, breathe, it'll breathe. Hey, so breathe. <laughs> In and out. Why are you going to clean Besides, Pedro, think about it like this. He's a bad restaurant, so that means oh, you won't I have competition. My, my, he's like, one of these things, he's not, not like, like the other. other. It's not like your business is gonna suffer, is it? <laughs> if anything, that means less competition for you. Well, it's giving. I guess it's giving. I'm a not bug. competing against Japanese restaurants. Um, so. to be fair, okay. <laughs> to be fair, Pedro, it's a French restaurant. So if anything, the or an Italian one in the same, French, argu but... same argument applies to that. Actually, that's, that's, that's a good question, Joe. I forgot if you uh, and if I asked this already. Um, the since it's in the English localization, the the, the restaurant is called Trevian, due, yeah. due to being tied to French. Yeah, yeah. How is it actually called in the French localization since it's more Italian based? Um, my guess is that um, it's an Italian. Right. And I don't know. <laughs> to the it's attorney week, he wants it when the trial starts. Anyway, it's medication. Medication? Ooh. Well, Phoenix well, well, well Tail, maybe, ma well, tail, yeah, maybe they... for years, topical use only, apparently. Ah. Well, Tail, maybe they revert, maybe they reverse this of being Trebia, it's very good. Italian? You know? yes, uh, yeah, no, no, it's, it's the medication Vegeta was using for his rupture eardrum. Well, <laughs> so in the English translation, so... in the English translation, they, they call it Trebia. In the French translation, they call it very good, see? They, it's a complete reversal. Yeah, so it's called well, it's called the either the very good or the very well restaurant. I don't yeah. see the Italian pun. Funnily enough, funnily enough, I, 
Well, anyway, I'll search later. Someone screwed up, so they only had time to analyze the contents of the bottle. Let's thanks, see. thanks, the charger. Unidentified fingerprints in the kitchen. I knew the hit. I, I knew Another hour, they might have gotten something on the prints, but. I only really understood the meaning of Trey Beyond when I heard, um, heard it in like, the French version of Atmosphere. Uh -huh. huh. That's going to weaken its impact as a piece of evidence. Okay, pal, this is it. Make sure your defense is impregnable today, you got it? Or uh -huh. elsewhere, just blow the shit out of you as usual. Uh, today's trial. I'm gonna expose that guy for what he's done, or my name is in Phoenix Wright! So, what do you want to call you instead, then? Phoenix no, Wright! Phoenix Wright? I mean, Godot seems to be calling him that. No! That, that name's not clever. Eh, yeah, it is mm -hmm. clever the first few times he says it. It will never catch on, I guess. <laughs> Causes now in session for the trial of Maggie Bio. Bird. 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 Uh, excuse me, I have a... Let's run into the same thing that, uh... Okay. Ready and waiting as always. Oh, okay, Tio. I found out the name of it in the French version. In the French version of the game, the restaurant is Italian and it's called Bellissima. Ah, Bellissima. It means it, it. It means beautiful. That's yep. pretty much it. <laughs> Yesterday, we heard the testimony of, Vic, of Mr. Victor Kuda. It's, uh, it's the superlative of the word uh, pretty. Specifically, thing. the female version, boy. It's weird because yeah, restaurant. It's weird. The direct restaurant in Italian is usually the male gender. Yeah. I guess it makes pronoun. sense because uh, the uh, the restaurant owner is very feminine. Yeah, I know, I know, I know that as well because uh, we have the exact same word here, bellissima. So the mark on the rim of the cup shows that the victim drank from it with his right hand. Which I pointed out last time. I'd like the court to remember. Oh yes, go to go get a drink. Uh, Phoenix, this is not so, a cock context. But a coin Stick to the facts. He picked it up with his left hand. Thank you, Mr. Gogo. Furthermore, according to the witnesses' hmm? account, the victim was listening to the radio with an earpiece in his left ear. Seriously, Joe, for that, you, you just made Phoenix look like a five-year-old. Uh, your honor, I was the one who pointed it out, remember? Phoenix doesn't get anywhere near enough credit, though. True that. Flying gets any credit at all. contradictions a single case can have, huh, Nick? Well, in this game, he's getting a bit of credit here and there. He's actually getting paid for once. Glug. Ha. Allow me to enlighten you, Your Honor. But by all means, enlighten us, Godo. The world you see keeps turning, and we must turn with it. That it's analogy is dumb, and so are you. <laughs> <laughs> You've lost me already, Mr. Godo. That's because his analogy sucks, Judge. Well, oh, always an reality suck. Don't let the mysteries of yesterday mystify you today. Oh, fuck off, you pretentious twat. So, the twat <laughs> are get towards the prosecutor is the one that makes dumb philosophy quiz. Hey, you volunteered to voice him. <laughs> Only losers think like that. Isn't that right? Try, try, try. You gotta change with the times. That's Excuse my rules. Well... Excuse Stan, and then Stan Lee comes to the court. Excuse me, I have a package for Mr. Phoenix Trite. He says, he says as he wears that suit, by the way. Are you yeah. buying your sword for your You know the answers to these riddles. The old guy wasn't just throwing seed in here. He was throwing us off the scent. Isn't that what witnesses are trained <coughs> to do? Yeah, gluck, gluck, gluck. And today I'll prove it. Silly Godo, don't you know? It's the defense who proves things. Well, Godo's well. being an orthodox, I see. Let the first witness take the stand, and please excuse my drinking, but a spoiling. That's why I love uh, one of my favorite moments. Oh shit. God, one of my favorite moments from the crossover oh, is when is when um, is when the is when Layton's all like, "This time the Inquisition will put in evidence," and then the judge is like, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The court is in silence yeah. of that. <laughs> oh, Forgive so me for asking with this, but are you a woman? Oh. Uh, j judge, that's uh, wait, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, oh, wait. That? I get it, I get oh, it. Oh, I love Monsieur, as you can see. No, wait. I'm a bird and perky gentleman, no? Well, that didn't age well, didn't it? Well, to be no, it didn't age well at all. Actually, to be fair, guys, I get where he's coming from. He played Dead Rising 3. He knows it might be a woman in there. On the day of the incident, you're in Trebion's kitchen. Isn't that right? 
Also, Jovan, nobody remembers that Rising Free. <laughs> Which is funny, seeing as how that's the one that apparently culminates the art. Remember, that, then, one um... is, that one is still an Xbox ex One exclusive, actually. Wait, wait, wait. Xbox and that, One uh, exclusive? Actually, no, Teo. It's on PC. It's actually, no, Teo. It's on PC now as well. Are you sure uh, you aren't um... referring to Dead Rising 4? <laughs> No, 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 that, no, that no, one no. is also that one is also on PC now. Anyway, wow, he's totally unfazed. Does anything intimidate this guy? This and nasty madman. No, Jova, Jova, I forgot to ask. Uh, Maria already asked in the previous day of the trial, but uh, well, quickly, is Godo still using that that stupid you know um, record of seventeen cups of coffee for trial? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, please <laughs> tell the court what happened that day at Trebian. We volunteers. All right. Then. Uh, and, and then PC principal comes into the court and starts beating the crap out of people for being Everyone. insensitive. Yeah. When it all happened, there was two customers in my restaurant. Let the man be feminine. I remember I was experimenting with some new art deco that day. Like having a large mirror between the tables, for example. Ugh. We oui, perhaps that's the same one the old man was looking at. Also, why is the old man a circus clown? <laughs> he just has a sore nose, dang it. Don't be insensitive. Like up that earpiece and the glasses. You would have seen everything, everything in reverse, no? Huh. A, 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 a mirror? Mirror, mirror, chicken dinner. Mirror, mirror Me on the wall. Mirror. Who's the worst restauranteur of all? It's a shame. It's a shame this is back at twelve. Because if, if any if, restauranteur that Golden Ramsay's met. Ooh. It's a shame this is back at twelve. If not, I would have Phoenix say meh. <laughs> and suddenly the mystery disappears. <laughs> like I said, the world keeps turning. So roll with it. Also, oh, that's what you meant by that. I don't wanna. Daughter, come on. Hmm, that would explain the coffee cup and the earpiece cut up. Mm, you sure? Yeah, if it's in reverse, then that would mean that everything was reversed the way the guy saw it. The mirror would have made everything appear back to front. Hmm. It's, it's kind of like that episode of Seinfeld where George Cousins is trying to bullshit uh, his boss by saying, no, no, that's because we were sitting on opposite sides, you know, like a mirror. What the heck? That's <laughs> way too early in the morning for me to be feeling this way. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Uh, thank you very much, Your <laughs> Honor. Okay. I see we're suddenly <laughs> speaking in France, I see. Apologies to all French people everywhere. Yeah, yeah I already read this. Hold it! I forgot, are there French users in the SMB? Yes. Oh. Mm, yeah. Yes. Well, there's like people from everywhere in that. Yeah, I was just Ma curious. Ma, of course. The young man who died! Except, With this counter. Except from Malasia. I haven't seen anyone from Malasia. <laughs> and the other not so Malaysia. young man. Actually, no, Dweebs. Uh, Malasia is a microstate in the US. No, 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 so no, 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 they... no, no, no. Hmm. Not a microstate, you a micro country. Yeah. You're referring to this as a witness. witness I Sorry. What about the other man Maggie says she saw at the table? Something tells me Mr. Armstrong isn't planning to disclose his existence. We need some hard evidence first before we can bring him out, don't we? Yes. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I guess I'll just have to try a different approach for the time being. Again, block the sheet out of it. No, I'm just gonna properly question the guy. Love, yeah, love, yeah, yeah. Love, I, would, love. I would read this. Yeah. I'm saving that bluff for later, dang it. You were experimenting with Art Deco. How come I never heard about that before today? Yeah, okay. Because, because this, should should be the point, this should be the point. Yeah, this should you be the not point to where. Uh, language of interior design, monsieur. Yeah, this Maybe should be the point where Godos Max Phoenix with another cup of coffee and says, "Get on with it." <laughs> Please stay on topic. Now, why didn't you tell the court about this before? I I could tell that to you, the Phoenix. How is that? Re how is this relevant? But I did because the mirror ago. is supposedly um, the thing causing the contradiction. Oh, excuse what? me, Mr. Armstrong. Uh, this judges. deco you mentioned. Are you referring to some sort of decature? Uh oh. <laughs> uh no 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 no! Art deco is a style. It's a style design, Your Honor. Not decature. Not decature. 
He's talking about interior design. Walls, ceilings, carpets, that kind of thing. Ah, yes, of course. That's deco. Um... I was trying to achieve a more life-feminine look for my restaurant. Eh. But that doesn't be any more offensive. I was planning the most bold remodeling of the car. Actually, to be fair, he himself is actually French, go figure. Like having a large mirror between- HOLD IT! How big of a mirror are we talking about here? Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Uh, as big as Godo's this... ego. I once cut a mirror this big. Well, something about four meters wide and a wee about two meters that's, high. That's kind of expensive, especially for Let's having see. one for his even one table. One meter is about one yard. Holy glass in a frame, that's huge! Oh. I was intending to install it on the ceiling eventually. Jesus. On the ceiling. Okay, I guess that's one design that, that's, that that's kind of, you know, it, it kind of gives a bit of tension if you the ceiling. overdo it. Was there a mirror on the ceiling? I don't remember there being one. Why, why would even be the use of that? You'd yeah, be surprised. Yeah. Some people like I having a mirror on the ceiling. Now that's the thing, Joe, but usually when it comes to interior design of restaurants, usually people, when it comes to something that's quirky or weird, it's usually to catch the customer's attention, you know, to have have it create some kind of memorable, unique atmosphere that sticks with people's minds, you know, but uh, this sounds even too weird even for that. Well, I get, some people do the whole mirror on the ceiling thing to be avant-garde and also, I, will, I, I, like I, I, I know that. Point, but... I will point out, but I'm pretty sure people don't like watching themselves eating. Objection! But anyway. you didn't ask. You'd be surprised. You only have only yourself to blame for such sloppy work. Teh. <sighs> what? Say what? Bad feelings, bad. The mirror was delivered to Trapion the day before the incident. Son of a gun! You mean he was telling the truth? Really? Oh, to, yeah. to be told, this kind of truth only gets revealed by the prosecution anyway, so pretty sure As Phoenix Mr. is just on wrong. He was carrying out some design changes, and as it turned out, he didn't actually use the mirror in the end. How expensive was that mirror? To never even be used! This just doesn't add up. At all. Then again, this sort of explains why the guy is so in debt to El Tigre. Doesn't prove that it was in the restaurant on the day of the crime. Hmm. Ah, if you want to doubt someone, try it. look at the mirror. Um, <laughs> the funny. Man in yeah, the mirror. this isn't this isn't gay gold, is it? I'm sure the person looking back at you will be dubious enough. What the guy who has at least six games in this series? In you don't go though. At least Phoenix can see properly. Oh. Ooh. So the With, this everyone the in Discord can be a fancy, you know. We hold it. Normally, I'd expect people to know the difference between a reflection and a real object. Objection. Okay. Objection. Normally, how does normality come into this? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Right. Okay, <laughs> go, go, no. That's lazy, right? <laughs> uh huh. This is especially become a dispute to ten-year-olds. Are you trying to say that if something isn't normal, it isn't possible? Is that it, huh? No. Where does that leave the porky-headed lawyer and the top-notch chick over there? And the ungodly cool guy with the mask over here. Well, try- I completely lost whatever this uh, thing was supposed to be. Um, something about normality? Ah, not the hair! All right. I do not have. I do not have a top knot. Mr. Godo is correct. She does indeed have a top knot. Actually, she technically doesn't into shop main, but only she's now, picky enough to notice that. No basis for discounting an argument. Good. Okay. And logic has won the day. The cross-examination isn't over yet, and, bud. And somewhere one of my princes just popped up because reasons. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. My is Objection! The coffee cup, the earpiece, and the HMD. 
let's think back over Mr. Kudo's testimony for a second, shall we? Smells like a flashback. The virus ran the airplanes on his inside security box. No, of course, you can let me out for long. Your sins lived here, right now. So he was actually on his right uh, here. <laughs> so to summarize, right, we, were Phoenix, right. we were told both the HMD and the earpiece were on the victim's left side. But yeah. now, if Mr. Kudo saw all that as a reflection in a mirror. It means both the HMD and the earpiece were actually on the victim's right side. Uh, you're, you're, you're so, you're so uh, awful, Mr. Ryan. I thought you were gonna say his backside. Exactly, no. You see, as you now that you think about it, that's so hard, no? Hmm. Unfortunately, that's where we run into a monumental contradiction with the facts. Ha! <laughs> If Mr. Kudo really did see everything in a mirror... Why is it that the HMD is now on the wrong side of his head? True. I was a lost boat. Order! Order! Mr. White is correct! Indeed. If the witness genuinely observed the victim reflected in a mirror... Then... Then we would expect the victim's eyepiece to have been over his right eye. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Well, what do you know? Victor <laughs> Kudo's testimony did come in Objection. handy. Objection! Slurp. Sorry, I have no drink. How bitter. Well, actually, I can, I can get... And try... You should have a taste of this bitterness. It'll calm you down in no time. Uh, are we talking about your coffee or something completely different? And now for someone completely different. Yeah, you don't understand the way the witness thinks. Oh, I think I got a good look into his psyche enough. How he how he thinks. What he thinks. You remember this, I presume? Oh god. The I broke the vase, sorry apology that I mean uh v Mr. Victor Kudo's sworn testimony. <laughs> Mr. Ryan, you promised. Exactly. The old man has one very grievous habit. Ah, you Pestering his nose. The more, of, uh, the more of an impression something makes, the more muddle his mind makes it. All too true. And what's the most striking thing about Mr. Elk? Other than his hats. And his, uh, sans -cara. Again. To be fair, it is the same old man who meant we went there to ogle girls in their uniforms. Mr. Oaks, oh, sorry, Mr. Oaks, HD, HMD made a big impression on the old man. Sorry, I went to my judge voice these for a second. Young, oh, crop, you, the, the, these, oh. these young, these youngsters in their HMD things. Uh, I saw the earpiece and those new bag of spectacles he was wearing. <laughs> the idea of Gold of being so determined and just making an impression of old man. I do believe so. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, that's right. Uh, 8 out of 10. That's the worst, but best impression of Kudo ever. <laughs> yeah, I agree with Phoenix. Wow, I really thought he was old CD for a minute there. Go to. See, it's like they're voiced by the same guy. <laughs> I wonder. Nah. Enough! <laughs> I must agree that yesterday's witness was irresponsibly rash in much of his testimony. Funny, that's I mean, he's, he's an old out. man. <laughs> so are you, Oji. <laughs> Bad luck, Nick. Looks like the boil for a contradiction you found is just a rash. Well, we'll yeah. have to go harder. You, you are as bad as gross. Yeah, my guy at this and, point. Your, and your metaphors, <laughs> Jesus. A mirror can't be beaten by a handful of these, nor can it lie. It's a crazy uh, son. Uh, uh, you're, really, you're really not good at this whole metaphor thing. No, no, no. no. The, the right, exactly. just... either, either him or the translator. Yeah. Fill us in, Mr. Armstrong. 
Oh, great. By all means. The, Go the on. offensive cook stereotype will win my Tell the court. We're all ears, unless you want to be like that. I can explain, please, if you will look at the plans of the restaurant. Yes. Would you all rather right, be yes. known like that? Or would you rather be known as the bike chief, Armstrong? The mirror. Hello, <clears throat> is everyone sitting comfortably? Yes. That's an actual statement of a tweet machine. Tr uh, Java, Java, try, try pressing that sentence, because that's, that sentence is where the, the, the truth is, I can tell it. <laughs> is, everybody, is everybody sitting comfortably? <laughs> <laughs> no, he sits. <laughs> there is always a seat from which you can now see an image of the victim. That was a seat of the table next to the victims. That was where the old man was sitting. There's only four oh. tables in this restaurant. I know, right? How the hell is this supposed to make any money? Never mind the fact that nobody even comes. if this was a cafe, it would make sense, but they're calling it a restaurant. Not just that, it's, it's, if I recall correctly, geography-wise, it's like, it's even, you know, stuck in a corner or something of a street. So it's not even that noticeable. I see no problem with the explanation we have heard. I do. There's only four tables. From the table next to the victims. Mr. Kudo could have seen the victim in the mirror. I mean, I mean, I'm guessing we're just, you know, taking it purpose for the purpose of a testimony. What a naughty little coquette I am! Sounds amazing, guys. Man like these. We're, we're not here on restaurant trial. We'll save that for later. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess oh, it can. I guess it can be accused. I guess he can be accused for public indecency for the restaurant. Mm. We can keep up, except for the guy breaking out a cold sweat over there again. Dwibs, just uh, tape I the cup to your guy. hand. <laughs> what kind of deodorants thinks Phoenix will be using? Hmm. You said you didn't touch anything else apart from the mirror. Uh, the incredible, the incredibly cheap ones from the bargain bin too. He uses no, like that's... Yeah, of course. <laughs> no, that's yeah, you got, you got from home I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, if you please. Right, then. Also, I have bad news, guys. Well, what? Is everybody sitting neatly is not included in the actual pressing. Oh. It just starts where the actual testimony begins. Oh, come on. I know. That's, I, I'm sorry, jo jo Jova, Jova. The, um, um, Jean-Pierre is clearly, clearly omitting a crucial part of his testimony. He is, uh, <laughs> he, he is, he is, he is out of con uh, sorry. But don't you see, content. guys? Shoot to come, we realized that that line would give away too much, so it was removed yeah, from what you could actually for us. Anyway. Look who's talking. And this this is ruined now. <laughs> he's, he's not even clever. You're obstructing my view, among other things. Says the guy with a virtual Bing. boy attached to his head. Al allow me to Being annoying and rude makes me a complex character somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Trebion's charm is that it gives you the impression that you're the only customer. Actually, I wonder... Well, with well, only four fucking tables, that's not much of a oh, stretch. Yeah, we'll later. Temporarily placing a mirror in that spot would hardly be the only way. In the way. you try it. Oh. And your, and your <laughs> face, or, or something. I'm telling you, that mirror was there. It's a middle of the restaurant. Actually, actually Java Phoenix said that this is my seat, but are you really standing I, up? I, I can't even. I, yeah, I can't <laughs> ironic. Even, I can't even finish reading the sentence of. Hell, our even Maya is standing up, uh, despite being just a supporter. Oh role. la la! Look how you look. It is weird, me. isn't it? Oh, oh, I guess. I always try to say younger boys. Maybe oh, I should boy. keep them in suspense a little longer. No, thank you. Wait, I'm sorry, who are you um, calling young? Mr. Armstrong, tell the court what you know at once! Thank you, Judge. Yeah, I attract the other ones too, you know. No! And so, <laughs> he is married! <laughs> he is married, <laughs> god dang it! I'm a married man! I have grandchildren, even. I'm already seeing a very hot so I'm afraid you'll be waiting for a long time. Are you drinking uh, her right now? I guess he's referring to the coffee. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's he's dating a Tassimo machine. I bet he, I bet if she has mocha cream skin and cappuccino perfume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I should you. tell you, there was only one seat from which you could have seen. No, Get no, no, an Caesar. actual coffee. No, no, I, I got it. She's the living embodiment of a Costa coffee. <laughs> After that terrible, terrible incident occurred, I moved, 
but natural did not stop. touch until I turned around and the curve and moved my mirror to the surface away. Hold it! I'll, I'll tell you later, Dreams. Did actually. you move the mirror while Mr. Kudo was off calling the police? Oui, exactement. I carried it out of the restaurant then. You moved a huge mirror like that all by yourself? And again, you've got well, the these call arms. Well, these call arms are stronger than the other muscular arms, so I'm not too surprised What can I say? That. I know how to pick things up, and some... Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, I've had my heart broken way too many times, and I don't go that way. <laughs> well, God, this is enjoying all this flirting. <laughs> Goro actually laughed at something. I think he laughs a lot, but usually at other people's ex ex Well, yeah. given the witness's physique, I suppose he had the accent. Exactly. Just because someone has big muscles doesn't exactly mean they're strong. And just, well, I guess oh, the, we the can best, assume. The best, the best, the best, uh, golden rule, never skip leg day. Exactly. <laughs> Legs are actually some of the most <laughs> crucial like things for moving that stuff type, around. No. Remember, when I'm at the gym, I mostly just do stuff that involves my legs. Remember, guys, put Good. the weight on your legs, never on your back. So I'm, I'm the opposite. I skip arm day. Oh. Um, <laughs> well, priorities, priorities, Luis. Remember, legs are supposed to support your entire body. So yeah, it's important. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Uh, Victor's testimony, Glenn's the badger, photo. The badger. <laughs> Objection! Huh! This piece of evidence contradicts what testimony we have heard, Your Honor! Indeed. It does. Well, that photo... The crime that, photo? Yeah, the crime photo looks like one of those tests on, on the internet. Is this man... You see, you, you see, you see, Your Honor, you'll this notice that there's... <laughs> yes, Your Honor, you'll notice that there's too many... There's too much cutlery on just one table there. <laughs> uh, like, is that man sleeping like wrong? Is this man is deceived. like you're describing yourself. Ooh. <laughs> you know, I and I basically like I wish you'd die, right? Yeah, I've, I've already made the point now. So uh, <laughs> really, yeah. no, no, let me let me paraphrase a quote. Really good old. What are you seven? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like we're we're so getting into your mom territory at this, this point. The, 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 this guy is actually um, Cypher's father. Oh God. <laughs> Anyway, let's see what some fish should uh, make. The cutlery. The cutlery is definitely the, what's wrong with this picture. Hold on. Maybe, um, maybe if go to drink more water, you'd be a bit take more that! to lay the off the caffeine. Are... I think it's pretty obvious that this is what should not be in the picture. The vase? Yes, the vase. Vase. I'm not going to put connected to that. <laughs> and they slap your face on every vase on every <laughs> Make everyone vase. happy. Yes, sir. As the Hercules song would say. I'm telling you, there shouldn't have been no vase on this table. Pop. <laughs> because it very we'll clearly go. contradicts with this piece of evidence. It's not It's not called vase of greed, not uh, vase of greed. It's actually pot of greed, uh, and you know what it does. Yes. <laughs> Which is why it was banned, then made legal again, then banned again. And now I think it's limited. There's one thing that was clearly demonstrated by yesterday's testimony. Mr. Kudo broke the vase that was on the table where he was sitting. I give up. <laughs> Everyone has done it, Vibs. And yet... And Americans yet, just like to be different. As the court can see, there is an unbroken vase on the table next to the victim. Why, I ask. Why? Because Mr. Kudo was not, in fact, sitting at the table next to the victim at all! Dun, dun, dun. Objection! Ooh. Uh, don't be an idiot, right? That's impossible! No, 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 no. What's impossible is how you managed to slam down your mug and somehow keep all the drink in there. <laughs> That's easily what you could have seen the victims. Whatever. Exactly! Eric. Actually, I just noticed the Godo is like, you know, uh, whatever, I'll say later. There is only one conclusion we can draw from this contradiction. There was no mirror in Trabian that day! It's Trabian, young country, right? Your testimony, Mr. Armstrong, is an elaborate lie almost as bad as Armstrong the Biker! Yeah, yeah, I know this. Godo is like, you know... <laughs> Godo is like, belts on, on, his, on his arms. Uh, like, Don't the front. 
Obviously, the one that's cleaned up the laws. It's a fashion some people do with the best well, look for some reason. I mean, crime scene. I mean, he doesn't have as much belt as as heel, but uh, objection! You know. Unfortunately, Mr. Goto, that doesn't quite work for me. Mr. Armstrong already testified to the contrary in his own words. I did not touch anything else except the mirror. Uh, uh, Let off some steam, Goto. Better well, witness. What do you have to say for yourself? I was right. There was no mirror in the restaurant that day. In light of this revelation, we return back to the original problem. I'm going to enjoy throwing this back in both their faces. Why did the victim have an earpiece in an ear which he couldn't hear? That's a good rhyme, Your Honor. <laughs> you only get one shot in life. There's no turning back. Alright. Yeah, never mind the fact that you lost the previous case, Godot, and yet you're still here. Well, remember, Tio, he's been however, winning cases off screen. Off screen, yeah. Wow, as almost every prosecutor does. Like, when you get down to it, if we judged all prosecutors based off of their win records, they'd be pretty Not to shoddy. mention, they were not against Phoenix, so technically speaking, his supposed revenge is not, you know, getting anywhere soon. Exactly. I also, can... go through this entire LP and take a shot every time Goto says trite. Hey, here's no, an idea. Please, take uh... a shot every time Goto drinks coffee. No. Which will kill you quicker. Oh, is kind of doing it, <laughs> which, uh, which will kill you first? <laughs> well, I've run, out of, I've run out of drink now, so... There's more... Thank goodness he's not drinking liquor while he does it for Goto drinking coffee. Yeah, what do you mean? I'd be pissed. Remember what Maggie told us. On that oh, fateful shit. day, well, there was another man at the victim's table. And there was a sample CD on the victim's table, too. It all flies in the face of Mr. Kudo's testimony. Almost a little too perfectly. And I think I know the reason why nothing in this case is adding up. Because this is an ace attorney trial. No, usually they're supposed to add up. It's going against the norm, I tell you. Mm. Right. Right. Well, Mr. Wright, <laughs> right, your answer. right. Yes, Your Honor. It's a, it's like the incipit for us, Doctor Seuss book. Right's always right, right, right. <laughs> the reason behind all the contradictions in, in Mr. Kudo's testimony is simple. An Ace Attorney adaptation written by Dr. Seuss. That would be amazing. Huh. This case is riddled with contradictions, yet... I mean, he has wrote an anti-Nazi propaganda book at one once, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> there is one simple and thing. what is that? The incident Mr. Kudo witnessed and the incident the victim experienced... Effect, ...were two completely <laughs> different events. Tan tan tan. And cue that ever faithful I moment. Mean, it makes sense, I guess. What? Have I ever told you about yeah. one of my cases where there happened to be two victims? Well, it's all coming back to me. Even though it wasn't written at the time this case was written, but I digress. It was an imposter, a phony pretending to be Mr. Elg. Is this missing impossible now? <laughs> yeah, with the rubber masks. Obviously, the unlike the victim, the there was nothing wrong with the imposter's left eardrum. That's how he ended up wearing the earpiece in his left ear by mistake. Yeah, dude, you're impersonating someone and you're doing such a clumsy mistake, come on. To be fair, he probably didn't know about the victim's God, God, God. medication problem, and I got a spit take! So, Goda, what do you have to say to that? You know, I really feel- Order in the court! Settle down or I'll clear the court! Yeah, you kind of need to clear from the copy stains all over Godo's desk. Quiet, right? Gramps. Why don't you clear out of here, huh? Oh, oh going all tough sir. guy, are we? What did you say? Oh, Ooh, <laughs> oh snap. Off the judge. Aji's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> right. Are you saying that what Mr. Godo saw was a setup? And that it's been playing you all like a dang fiddle? Mm, yes. Enough of the MGS5 quote, damn it. Says the guy who's wearing MGS gear. On his face. <laughs> <laughs> he was a cop out anyway. 
get real trite. Why would anyone want to do that? You're Where is he getting his it. coffees? The physics are weird. Well, I forgot you. Mm, maybe someone is pushing them. I forgot you. Be Isn't it obvious? But I mean, when he slams it down. Ah, okay. The thing Mr. Anime Kudo physics. was most yeah, consistent about in his testimony was. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just sad for the poor saw that needs to clean the courtroom afterwards. Probably the because the coffee stains are hard to pull, to pull off. Just say. Remember, it's actually Pearl who's pushing the coffee mugs down the table. Of yeah. course, it's part of her part-time day job. It's so hard to believe, but... Ha! Huh. There was one, and only one reason to show Mr. Kudo this fake poisoning. Uh, Mr. Wright, I had... Mr. Kudo, sorry. sorry. To show Maggie Bird in the act of poisoning the coffee! Again, that's okay. incredibly suspicious and unprofessional for a waitress to... whatever. To poison a man's cup? Yes, it is! Are you insinuating that the witness of the old man's story was a fake as well? What, what, I'm, saying, what I'm saying, Mr. Goto, is that the victim was poisoned with poison! <gasps> it's true that there were no other customers in the restaurant at the time, but... It's also true that the chef was there! You would have noticed what was happening. You're not okay, necessarily. Goto, it sounds like the cop the is your throat. The chef is supposed to be in the kitchen. Yeah. That's right. Well, with this... Realize which chef a... we're talking about. Yeah that's, another... yeah, that's another thing. He runs the restaurant alone. How the hell does that even work? Oh, it pays her. It's okay. He had one waitress working there with him. Wow. Wow, wow. brilliant. And by the so... time Meyer joined, he had two. Well, one of them was in jail, mind you. I don't remember if he mentioned these, but I'm pretty sure he's not even an accountant. So how he does do the taxes and everything. I guess he just somehow manages. Maybe it has to do with that big loan he's got. Well, well, actually, to, to be fair, you can hire an accountant to do that shit for you. I guess, Was yeah. there, in fact, a phony at Travian that day? I thought you were going to say a phony Travian at the restaurant itself. Break. Oh, you don't need me to prove that. The defense demands that Mr. Armstrong tell the whole truth about what happened. In the next part. Next time. Oh, of course. Yes, so, join us next time, where we hope that the Trey Beyond shuts down operations after this. Yes. Would uh, you be surprised if they did? Well, All it's right. only a matter of time, the way they're going. <laughs> See, See ya. Everybody. See ya. See ya. Sure. Oh, uh, Jova.